One of the things that's going to come up in the second trimester is genetic screening or genetic testing. And this is really an optional thing and it's something that you really want to think about. Because the genetic testing isn't perfect and the problem is we don't really find things that we can treat. So in other words, we look to see if the baby has a problem. We might diagnose that the baby has a problem, but there isn't any way to fix the problem. And so it sometimes opens up a can of worms that you may not want to have to deal with. So I recommend to really think about what you're going to do with the information. And I kind of recommend kind of starting from the end. And so I'll ask my patients, what would you do if you found out your baby had Down syndrome? Would you have a termination? Would you abort the pregnancy? Or would you carry the baby and raise the baby? And that's a big question, and it's a difficult answer. But if you think about that, if your answer is that you would definitely terminate the pregnancy, then the genetic testing becomes very valuable because it changes what you're going to do. If the answer is that no matter what you find, it's, you're going to carry the pregnancy to term, then the genetic testing becomes less valuable because it doesn't change your actions. And I always have a rule when I order tests. Think about the test. What are you going to do if it's positive? What are you going to do if it's negative? If that answer is the same, you probably shouldn't order the test. So the genetic screening comes in different things, and it sort of depends on your age. If you're 35 years or older, then we offer amniocentesis, which is putting a needle into your tummy and getting fluid from around the baby. And from that test, we can tell if the baby has certain genetic problems like Down syndrome or problems with the brainstem or spinal cord. That test is safe, but there's a very, there is a small risk of miscarriage, and so because of that, some people don't want to do the test. Now the other genetic testing is a blood test, has various names, the triple screen, the quad marker, the AFP, these are all terms that are used for that blood test. But basically that test will not tell you if the baby has a problem, it just tells you that the baby might have a problem. And most of those tests are false positive. And what that means is that if the baby is normal, the test could still say that the baby is abnormal and be wrong. And that would be a false positive test. The only way to know for sure if the test comes back positive is to do the amniocentesis. So if you've got it in your mind that you're not willing to do the amniocentesis, I would warn you that it's probably not a good idea to do the blood test because it's not going to give you the information you want and it may just really scare you. So those are some things to think about. This is what's going to come up in the second trimester, usually about 16 weeks. And so this is a conversation that you want to have with those that you trust around you and with your physician to try to figure out what works best for your sort of view of the world and the way you think about things because there isn't any one right answer. Twice.com